on to this episode with Lifestyle Spotlight. So today we'll be performing some magic in the kitchen. Hey y'all, come look at this. I woke up on this day with a strong urge, with a strong craving for chicken pepper soup. And I really want to prepare it myself. I think that it was like a cold day. Just more rain with four. No, say the rain, I like said with this rain, not before this, not even two days. Eh? So I went to the market to get everything I'll be needing for my chicken pepper soup. So I have pepper, I have onion, I have garlic, and every other thing that I'll be using. So the next thing I did, slice everything together, add water, and give it a good blend. I blended everything together. Yeah, so when I was done blending, the next thing I did was to rinse my chicken very well. I rinsed everything together and the next thing I want to do now is to season it with salt, seasoning cube and all, all other ingredients that they had for pepper soup. And of course, I added my pepper soup spice. Now, you should pay attention to this video because I'm about to add what Yoruba men are going to show you exactly is. <laughs> So after adding what your rubber men are going to show you then i want to give it a very good mix then i mixed everything together then i covered it for a while i actually forgot to add ginger powder so i was cooking already before i added ginger powder then i added more water because it was a little bit too thick. just like the spices we say if you have leftover chicken bring it out so that day i had leftover yam and I sliced it into my pepper soup. <laughs> I had leftover scent leaves. I sliced it into my pepper soup. And tada! My pepper soup is ready. I know some people will say the pepper soup water is still too thick, but I prefer this. Way. Let me add this. The only way to stop a Yoruba man from showing you pepper is to give him a food aspect. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> for this video. See you all in my next video. Bye.